This Formica Rufa wood ant queen has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach, the perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. At the moment, the tide is out, but it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can, while they can. Unfortunately for this colony, the Queen's choice of home could not have been worse. This stretch of beach is peppered with burrowed tiger beetle larvae. They lie, jaws primed, with only their armored heads visible from the sand. Anything that stumbles into their pit is speared and dragged below. There is food to be found all over the beach. But the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Tiger beetles frequent the higher ground and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays too close. There are other wood ants out here. They have also come to take advantage of the buffet provided by the sea. Territorial disputes will invariably favor the colony with the greater numbers. The ants have been spotted by Chichindala hybrida, the northern dune tiger beetle. With its long, slender legs, it's the king of speed on these intertidal flats. Its wide, carving jaws will slice effortlessly through squads of wood ants. It's going to take a monumental unified effort to bring this beast down.
intruders in the nest. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. intruders in the nest. The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. The tide is in, and soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. It would be wise for the roofer colony to stay underground, and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. Overground, nocturnal hermit crabs rule over the sands at night. These creatures are typically scavengers, searching for algae and carrion on the beach. But due to the unusual incursion of Formica Rufa colonies into this area, this particular community of crabs has developed a taste for ant flesh. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. A hermit crab has found its way into the nest. The ants must mount a swift and decisive defense.
There are intruders in the nest. A group of hermit crabs have stormed the nest. The larvae must be protected. There are intruders in the nest. More hermit crabs have found the nest. The queen is in imminent danger. The tide is receding and a new day dawns. The hunters of the night return to the safety of the shadows, and the ants can begin to lay down new trails. The harvest must go on. A dead sardine has been washed up on the beach. This feast is too precious to pass up, but the smell will soon attract other scavengers. The ants will need to amass in great numbers to defend such a prize. A 
an ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. An ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. The beetle larvae hiding in their burrows are eating well. Every ant lost to them diminishes the colony. The huge tiger beetle has been defeated. There are many more of them, but this is a milestone moment for the colony. They cannot be bullied by sheer size alone. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait.
The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. The water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. The beetle larvae hiding in their burrows are eating well. Every ant lost to them diminishes the colony. have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. There is another creature roaming the sands tonight, Arctosa Parita, the sand bear wolf spider. In the day, these spiders retreat to the shade provided by larger plants on the edge of the beach. But once the sun has gone, they are far more active and on the hunt for a midnight feast. There are intruders in the nest. A wolf spider has found the nest entrance. She is only small, but her venom will quickly incapacitate any ant that tries to fight alone. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected.
Another wolf spider has entered the nest. This one is large, fast, and voracious. The queen is in imminent danger. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. More wolf spiders have found the nest. The ants must protect the queen. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. As the sun rises over a new day, the tide recedes. The nocturnal creatures return to the shadows and once again the harvest must continue.
The beetle larvae hiding in their burrows are eating well. Every ant lost to them diminishes the colony. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. An ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. The beetle larvae hiding in their burrows are eating well. Every ant lost to them diminishes the colony. Thank you. 
more ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. An ant has fallen victim to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. The water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. The tide is in, and soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. It would be wise for the Rufa colony to stay underground, and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. A wolf spider has found the nest. The ants must protect the queen.
More hermit crabs have found the nest. A huge wolf spider has found the colony. This one is a mother, and her recently hatched brood have followed her into the nest. These ants are facing an overwhelming infestation. Queen is in imminent danger. As the ants grow in number, the local predators pose less and less of a danger. Eventually they will be displaced from this area entirely. Despite the dangers of the beach, it seems this intrepid queen's gamble to establish her colony here has ultimately secured her success. Thank you.